Treat it from the ground. Very good. Winnie, come. Winnie, come. Good. Now Curtis, call her in the solar space. Winnie, come. Winnie, space. Winnie. No, no, you did good. She just ran over to me. Let's give her another shot, Curtis. Winnie, space. Now we're gonna see what she does for a default behavior as she's approaching. Let's see, Miss Winnie comes on up and gives you a sit, very good. Hey, you got you too. Let's come over here and see if when Winnie approaches, what she does. And she's gonna come on over, come here. She's gonna come on over and give us a sit or what she's gonna do exactly. Curtis, will you come here? Okay, and yes, she gives us a sit, very good. All right, let's walk over here. Let's see what Winnie does when she approaches. Winnie, sit! Curtis, we're having her give us a default behavior where she offers up something, very good. So you can do what Curtis did, which is tell her what to do. A default behavior is uh, waiting for her to um, do what you're looking for from her, on her own accord. Very good, Grace. Um, so that is perfect. Um, another thing that we can do with Miss Winnie is also leash her up and see, okay, when we're on leash, do we have a more difficult time with this? Or is this um, easy peasy, just kind of changing the um, circumstances a little bit around what it looks like to approach someone. So if Winnie and I are out on a walk, what is she gonna do when she sees some kiddos? So, she, so be, be still. Good, Miss Winnie gives us a sit. So pet, pet Miss Winnie, you guys. So we're out on a walk. Miss Winnie gets some pets. Very good, very good. She gives us a sit, which is great. Offers that up. Very, very good, you guys. All right, so I'm gonna retreat with Miss Winnie. We're out on a walk, and then we come up. We see you two on the way here. What happens when we approach? She gives us a sit. Very good. So creating that default behavior is very, very important. This is awesome, we love this. Let's try that one more time. Very good, you guys, very, very good. So we're out on a walk, we come up. Hi, how's it going? You guys wanna say hi to my dog? Uh -huh. This is Miss Winnie. And she gives us this default behavior, which is very, very good. Excellent. Hi, Winnie. So I get now, with a tail, I'm sorry. Yeah. So now we'll pop her off leash. And again, we'll see what she does when we're Coming up and approaching. Hi, this is my dog Winnie. She's not unleashed. Do we get in? Yeah, you want to look? Very good. Very good. She's still giving us that behavior. Very good. Um, and then, as an aside, another good exercise for um, strangers or guests in your home is a touch exercise, which comes up and bumps uh, people's hand with her nose to greet them. So Grace, why don't you try that till I touch? Oh, very good. Give her a treat. Very good. There you go. Oh, yeah, sweetie, you did good. Curtis, you want to try the touch till I touch? Touch. Very good. Excellent. Yep, she did good. Yep. Nope, she did good. She gets a treat. That was perfect. Um, and even a great way to get her position, regardless of where she is. Curtis will give you some treats, and Grace has some treats as well. So um, you guys get further apart, and then um, first Grace, you say touch, and then Curtis, you say touch. Okay, wait, touch. Very wait, good. Touch. She gets her treats. Curtis, wait till she gets her kibbles first. She can be very excited, and she comes back over. Now, now tell her, Curtis. Wait, touch. Very good. Perfect. Very good. So a great way to greet and get her position exactly where you need to be. Um, so lastly, let's do one more. She's uh. If she's approaching, excellent. Gives us that default behavior. Very good. And then I'm going to have Winnie come over towards me. When Winnie's too close to me, Grace, I want you to say space. See if she'll turn over towards you. Very good. Perfect. Same thing, Curtis. When Winnie gets too close to me, I want you to say Winnie space. Winnie space. Very good. Excellent. Here's some treats. Very good. Um, so you want anybody to be able to... Yep, she gets treats. She did very, very good. Put it on the ground. She gets more. That was very good. She's worked very hard. Um, so anytime that uh, anyone's communicating with your dog, they, they should be able to. 
So that is perfect. You've got space as a, a great tool in your toolbox for um, giving space, not jumping up, and creating that default behavior, which it just looks like this. Every time that Winnie approaches, she comes up and offers up a sit. Then we love to reinforce that. She'll start to do that more frequently. And then uh, targeting is a great exercise for greeting. So saying touch comes up and bumps your hand. Um, it's another great one. So I just want to see here, is she going to, yep, yep, very good. Give us that, that default behavior of a, a sit or a down, which is very, very good as we approach. Um, so this is going to be a huge one, just how do we uh, greet kiddos, how do we greet adults, and on leash, off leash, this is exactly what we're looking for. So if you need to tell her um, sit or space, that's all well and good. And really, we'd like her to ideally just start to do that on her own accord, which is um, the, the end goal. And then, you know, you definitely want anyone to be able to communicate with your dog. So starting with uh, some, some kiddos is really great because a lot of times dogs will have a much more challenging time with kids than adults. So she's, uh, she's doing an excellent job. Very, very, uh, very, very good dog to have around. She is absolutely amazing.